Yeah, so I'll briefly talk about uh, images first. Have you, uh, has anyone worked with computer vision or uh, image processing here? Okay, so one, two people. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so images are basically represented by uh, pixels in a, in a computer. So each pixel will have probably some value, intensity value, for example, in a grayscale image. So image features, so f what are features? Features would be any interesting points in an image. So we can say that uh, an, uh, it's difficult to process an entire image uh, uh, in, the, in the entire, like, uh, in the, like it's usually two, three megapixels. So what we do is we take some important points from that image and use those to represent the, represent the image. So let's say, uh, what, would he, what would be some uh, good uh, representation for an image? Uh, so yeah, the, the features should be uh, unique to that image. So let's say if you see that image again, you should be able to match those, those features to the features in the new image and say that this image has come again or you can like classify that image again. So uh, some good features would be edges, right? Edges uh, can fail sometimes when, uh, let's say, uh, there's an edge. So you can match it on all points of that edge, right? A, a key point, say, which is found on this edge here can be matched here also. So it may not be the very, it, won't, it, not, it may not be a very good feature, but it is used uh, a lot of times. So I'll just show you a quick uh, demo of the uh, canny edge function, which I've uh, implemented in my project. Okay, so this was the original image and the canny edge detects the edges in the image. Okay, so, uh, but still this is not a very good representation of the image if you want to match it later on. So we move on to. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this was the original image, and this is the new image. This is the edge image. So this is called a canny edge detector. So uh, now I'll move on to a better feature than edges, which is corners. So in corners, what happens is, uh, you can detect the key point if it's seen again, but what if the image is rotated? It would fail, right? So, but still you can use corners. So now I'll show you the corners demo, which I have for the same chessboard image. So these are the corners in this image, right? So now let's move on to the actual features. So here you can see that this image is, is uh, this, this image has a projection of this image, but still the key points are detected in the image, right? You can match it to the original image. So how do we do that? We have various algorithms like uh, Censure, Brief, Brisk, which I'm going to implement in my project, uh, which find out rotation and scale invariant features, which can be mapped, and uh, it's usually very fast. So this is real time, like uh, if you're processing a video, real time video, you can easily detect like uh, objects, you can track objects, and uh, you can also, uh, for example, there are two cameras. You can use, you can reconstruct the stereo projection using the two cameras. So I'll show you a demo of that quickly. So, so this is the first image. This has one view of the scene and This is the second image. So some part of the scene is overlapping, but it is not overlapping as in it's not from the same camera. The camera is placed like this, okay? So now we'll construct our entire, entire scene from, of the image using the key points. So what I've done is I'll calculate the key points in one image. I'll calculate the key points in the second image. Then I'll try to project the second image in the plane of the first image. And then I'll just stitch them together. So this is the resulting resultant image. So here you can see there's a slight intensity difference because the images are taken from two cameras, but 
it's still been able to detect the key points and match them and stitch it together. So, yeah, uh, continue with my, yeah. So, like, yeah, these are the functions which I'm going to implement in my project. And, yeah, thanks.